How's everybody today? Good. So, you know, no new thoughts after watch, watching the LSU game. Uh, there's, you know, probably the most complete game we played all year, uh, especially the way we executed in the second half. I thought offensively, you know, we controlled the line of scrimmage. We had great balance. Jalen played really well, obviously, you know, being the player of the week. Um, but, you know, I think that, um, you know, this team has created an opportunity for itself. So everybody's got to make a choice on, you know, what, what do you want to do to prepare and to continue to play at the level that we're capable of playing at and to continue to improve. And, um, you know, I don't think this is a time for anybody to be complacent. Um, I know that even Sunday morning when I got up, you know, I was like, wow, I'm tired, you know, but you got to go, man. You got to keep going. You got to keep grinding. You got to keep um, focused on what you have to do to get better and to prepare for the next game because, you know, Kentucky is a completely different type of team uh, than what we played against a week ago. And what we did last week is not going to have any impact on what we do this week. Um, they're tough. They're physical. They're well coached. You know, um, you know, Coach Stoops does a really, really good job with his team in terms of, you know, the competitive character that they play with and the intangible that, intangibles that they have. And, you know, they're six and three. Uh, and, you know, they've got some really explosive players on offense. The quarterback has played really well for them. They've got great balance on offense. Their defense is tough and physical and uh, really well coached in terms of what they do. Uh, you know, uh, Barry and Brown is a really good uh, returner. So th they've got lots of good players, uh, very challenging preparation uh, for both sides of the ball. Yeah, do you have an update on the, the health of Deontay and uh, I just forgot the uh, Jalen Key? <laughs> no, I don't really. Um, you know, I think we, we would prepare to play in this game because, you know, both guys have injuries that, you know, are day to day in terms of what they're going to be able to do. So it's not just a matter of whether they would be ready to play in the game, but can they practice enough to be ready to play in the game? So. That's going to be, you know, day to day. Um, so, you know, both guys, I would have to say, if you have to say, would be questionable uh, because it is questionable because I don't know what they're going to be able to do from day to day. Katie, what went into getting Jay Miller and Kendrick Law more involved on offense this past week? And just what can you what can you say about their patience of kind of waiting their turn this year and being ready when their name is called? Well, Kay Law has been a significant player for us all year long, especially on special teams, and he's had some role on offense. But uh, we did expand that role a little bit. You know, um, guy's a great competitor, a really hard worker. Uh, he's got a, a skill set that I think uh, can be utilized offensively, and I think we're starting to use that. Uh, Jam has played really, really well all year long. You know, Jace has, you know, played a lot of football this year and a little bit banged up, so those guys have gotten more reps in practice. So I obviously wanted to give him and Roy Dale both um, a little more time in the game, and both guys came through and did a really good job. Uh, what do you remember about the 2002 game when you were at LSU at Kentucky with the Hail Mary? Uh, look, I remember we didn't play very well. Um, I remember they poured Gatorade on the coach already. Uh, I remember there was about a 30 mile an hour wind, um, that we had at our back, uh, and the guy threw the ball and it just kept going and going and going. Then their guys misjudged the ball and tipped it and, uh, Devery Henderson caught it and ran for a touchdown. So, um, that's basically what I remember. <laughs> From a novice perspective, this offense seems to get more multiple every week. Is that just a byproduct of, of Jalen earning the coaching staff week by week, or is this just the evolution of this offense? No, I think that um, it's probably a combination of both. Uh, I think as Jalen gets more comfortable, more confident, um, is reading and seeing things so he can actually do a little more. Uh, and do some different things. Uh, but I also think that, you know, the rest of the guys around him are getting more comfortable and 
uh, executing better. So all those things contribute to us being able to do a few things that, you know, we can take advantage of. But that's different, you know, every week in terms of what kind of defense are you playing and what do they do and uh, how can you try to take advantage of it. With Ja'Cory Brooks' role in the offense being smaller this year than last year, how has he handled that in terms of maturity, attitude, mental approach, those things? Well, he's done a great job. He's done a great job on special teams. He's been a little hurt, you know, which has contributed to, you know, his role to some degree. Um, and um, I'm, But he's been great. You know, he's done a great job on special teams. He's done everything we've asked him to do. Uh, when he's gone in the game, he's done a, a really good job of, of doing what he needs to do. But uh, he got his shoulder banged up, which has been a little bit of an issue for him all year, you know, in the game. So we'll see how that goes this week as well. A guy we haven't asked about in a while is Devontae Smith. Just how's he coming along in his recovery? Uh, he's actually getting to the point where he's able to do uh, dry land running. Um, I think he's gotten up to like 80% or something like that. So uh, he's getting closer, um, but we just have to wait and see. That's kind of day to day, too. Nick, Alvarez. What has uh, Malachi Moore meant to the team in bringing energy, but also in being able to be versatile in the secondary? Well, Malachi is a great leader, but he's also, you know, very smart. He's got lots of experience. He understands the system of what we do. I think he really helps the other guys with adjustments uh, that we need to make uh, in the game. And, um, you know, he's been invaluable. Uh, he's played well. And um, I think he's helped everybody around him play, play better. Okay, we got two more. Tony and then Mike. You've really been able to shut teams down in the second half on defense, or at least improve on defense. How much does that say to what ke the job Kevin's done in making adjustments in games? Yeah, well, we all contribute to trying to make adjustments in the games, and Kevin's done a really, really good job. He's in the box, so he has a really good perspective of, you know, what's what 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 we didn't do correctly, what we need to fix, what's not working, uh, what might work better. So, um, but I think we also do a great job on the sidelines of showing the players the series before. And um, the first series of the second half was not a good one for us, but um, we actually played better um, toward the end of the game. Uh, but I think we need to uh, have a little more consistency. You know, the drive right before the half was not great, and the first drive of the second half was not great. But uh, then I thought we played really, really well after that. But we, we, we just want to try to uh, we're getting a lot of stuff, man, lots of multiples that the players have to adjust to. And um, we, we want to do more things but make it simpler for the players so that we, we, we can actually do these things and be able to adjust to all the stuff that we're seeing um, so that they're confident that they can make the adjustments we need to make. What was your perspective on Dallas's roughing call and just what the technical coaching point would be there? Uh, look, I don't, I don't know if there is a technical coaching point. You know, you always tell players you want them to see what they hit. Uh, you know, he hit the guy here and then he hit him sort of in the chin. So it wasn't like a direct hit or an intentional hit to the head. Um, it was a really good hit, but um, unfortunately, you know, his helmet did slide up and hit the guy, so it, 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 it's, a, it's a foul. If you hit the quarterback in the head, it's just going to get called all the time. And um, we just want to have him keep his eyes up and see what he hits and hopefully target down a little bit so it doesn't happen again. All right, Coach, thank you. All right, thank you.